Welcome to rainy Los Angeles, which doesn't really happen too often. And when it rains and you work on a beach, you automatically have your day off because nobody goes to the beach. But when you're a YouTuber, it opens up new doors for you to explore something you normally don't do because it rains. And I really don't remember the last time I went downtown in the rain. So why don't we go downtown? Let's check it out. On the other hand, it would be nice to stay at home all day and sleep, but as a content creator on YouTube, you gotta keep your audience happy and create, right? Welcome to overpopulated Los Angeles traffic. Where is everybody going? They keep building new buildings and the skyline looks different than a few years ago. I love those street signs. I just got off the 10 freeway going towards downtown LA where Skid Row is. Some of the 10s, they go all the way out on the street. You gotta be really careful that you don't hit anything or that you're not gonna hit anybody coming out of those 10s. He's just standing in the rain. A lot of the buildings downtown have graffiti art on the outside. Some are look pretty cool and some are pretty bad though. The overall look makes the city look pretty bad. I don't even know what that area is. It was gated, but it looks like somebody ripped a hole in the gates and then people just come here and live here. They got camper vans. This area looked like this for a while already. I drove here many times. Nothing has changed. Nothing is cleaned up. All the stuff just sits here. There are main streets all around it, but I guess people just drive by. They don't even look at it. They just kind of pay attention to the traffic. They don't see all the trash that's underneath this bridge here. Downtown, they have different districts. This is the flower district, they got the garment district, and the toy district. This homeless encampment just burned down last night. It was a big tent, and it melted all the electric. And now they're fixing the electric. Propane gas. Wow. All the canned food. That was a pretty big one here. like a gas tank. I download the Citizen app on my phone and ever since I have that, I get notified when there's a car burning or like tents on fire. You hear the news every single day, something is on fire. And the big problem is, it's not only the tent is gonna be on fire, also the building is gonna catch fire. That's the big problem. On a hot day, you see a lot of people sitting on the concrete, just laying on the street, sleeping. I wonder where all those people are. You don't see too many people walking around right now. Are they all in their tents or where can they go in the rain? There's no restaurant where they can sit. There's no place where they can gather. Like I said so many times, there's over 60,000 people living on the streets in Los Angeles. 
60,000 people. That's like a stadium full of people. Today I was not just driving by, I actually parked my car on the side and I looked at some of the people and there's really no way that they can get out of that situation by themselves. I mean, I looked at one guy, if he does not get help from anybody, he would never get off the street. Again, I saw people today in big trucks just pull over and hand people food, fruit. There are also places where they can get medical help. It's just so overwhelming because there's so many people. Just imagine you live in one of those apartment buildings and pay $2,000 rent and you can't even go outside. I normally don't go to Los Angeles downtown in the rain, but today I just wanted to come down here to see what it's like for the homeless people to be in the rain. It feels like ever since the pandemic happened, there's a lot of people are interested in homeless videos. You go to YouTube, there's so many different people. They're doing videos about homeless encampments. I think it's interesting because it's not only in Los Angeles. I think it's all over the country and people are just interested in it. What's going on in their city or what's going on in the state. I don't just want to do homeless videos on my YouTube channel. Today I planned a different video, but because of the rain, I couldn't really do what I wanted to do. And I thought people would probably would like to see what it's like to go downtown in the rain. Looks like it burned here before. Ever since I moved to Los Angeles, I've seen homeless people in downtown Skid Row. But I don't think there's gonna be any change anytime soon. I think it's actually getting worse because more and more people getting fired and losing their jobs. More and more people leave in Los Angeles. The income tax is pretty high. The rents are pretty high. It's overpopulated, too many people on the freeway even if you want to go to work sometimes it takes you 40 to 50 minutes i know some people they drive two hours just to go to work every single day wow look at that beautiful tree right in the middle of the city i've never seen that one before I think it looks bad already when you come here in the summertime and it's hot but now when it rains I think it looks even worse because everything is getting wet soaking wet and it's gonna go down on the ground Some people are screaming at each other, fighting. It's crazy. Even though there are street cleaning signs, I don't think they enforce anything right now. The cars are just there every day.
look at all those old bicycles, bicycle tires, everything bicycle. What is he gonna do with all this stuff? Unbelievable. A lot of tours and a lot of people even if you live in LA you don't never come here and see what's going on you really have to see it to believe it if I just tell you you said yeah right but if you actually here driving in this street and you see what's going on you just can't believe it see there's so many fires all the time like that in those American movies when the fire hydrant exploded and the water comes out in the summertime and the kids are running around in the water. What you guys probably don't understand, I love driving around Los Angeles and explore the area. Look, there's like an old train right here, downtown. Even though this is all messed up with graffiti, but I still love to look at it. I don't know why. I like it. I mean, check this out. Where do you get to see something like this? Only in the movies. This is Los Angeles. I love it. I mean, you can take amazing pictures down here. They tear down the most iconic 6th Street Bridge and down they're building a new one. But the old one has been in hundreds and hundreds of movies and commercials. I mean, when you're tourists, you never get to see anything like this. And some of you guys probably say, I don't really want to see stuff like this. But this is art. There's some really cool artists here. Look at this. I love it. Right out of the movie. You got downtown LA. And we got the ghetto bird right here. Something is happening right now in downtown LA. Look at the skateboarder here, falling down the steps. Look how dope this is. We got the train yard got the Los Angeles riverbed. You normally never see water in there. And then of course, downtown LA. Really nice. No stopping anytime. This guy is just setting up right in the middle of the bridge. I'm sure you guys see my other homeless videos and there's hundreds and hundreds of more homeless videos from downtown Skid Row. But today I wanted to go down there because I think we are so fortunate and lucky that we can stay at home when it rains. But all those people in downtown Skid Row, they have to be in the rain. It makes their life even more miserable when it rains. And I just wanted to document that, how lucky we are. But fortunately it stopped raining so we can enjoy a beautiful day here in Los Angeles at the LA River and downtown LA. I love those big trucks. 
Well, my friends, I think this is a really cool spot to end the video. You ever seen that movie Beat Street where they graffiti like the subways in New York? That kind of reminds me of that movie. Anyway, before I say thank you for watching this video, I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. They started subscribing in the last couple of weeks because I had 100,000 and today I'm at 123,000 subscribers. All this would not be possible without you guys. So thanks for all the new subscribers. I try my best to entertain you. And I hopefully you like this video I'm doing today. If you did, give me a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and of course, subscribe to my channel. And I see you next time. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I did not get the YouTube play button yet. I'm gonna do another video when I get it. I was texting with YouTube yesterday. Hopefully it's gonna come in the future. I see you guys later. Tschüssing. Wait a second. I asked you to subscribe and you still didn't do it. That's all right. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. If you do, just hit it. I made it all the way from downtown to Venice Beach because I thought, look at that cloud formation. It's going to be a nice sunset. So I thought you might enjoy the sunset. I always have to be in Venice at least once a day. So we'll see if we can see some surfers. See you one second, you're in downtown Skid Row. And one second later, you're in beautiful Venice Beach, California. For all the people that say you don't want to live in California, this is what you're missing every day. He loves it. And he does too. Oh my goodness, I see a whale. I see a big white whale. Look how fast those guys are. What are they eating? That's it, I'm out.